Yesterday I talked about external hard drives and my local backup and storage solution. Today I want to talk about Arc Backup, which is an online backup solution. Using external hard drives is a great way to store your files, have speedy access and also have a backup if you do duplication. But what if everything goes wrong and all your data is gone and your drives are all kind of missing, broken or whatever? The solution in that case is backups in the cloud. But the problem with backups in the cloud is, for one, you need cloud storage, and the second one is, most of the backup solutions or the upload solutions don't encrypt your files. But there is a tool to fix that. I've been using this tool for the last couple of years and I have recommended it to a couple of people and it is so seamless and simple, it really is great. Two, thi two things to keep in mind. The program is not free and you have to buy online storage. There is no free online storage, but there is really cheap online storage and I will show you how to get that. But first, I want to share a little bit about the tool I'm talking about. The program I'm talking about is called Arc, and I think that is a really fitting name. The company behind this program is called Haystack Software, and one thing to note is that this is not a new tool. It has been around for eight years by now. And I think that is a very powerful statement in terms of quality and also how customers like it. But what about features? For one, the pricing is amazing because you can use it on a per user basis. So you buy the program once and then you can use it on your Mac, on your Windows computer and also on your second Mac, like your laptop and your iMac, for example. So that is already great. But then it goes into the details of the backup software. The first feature is actually that you can go back in time. So basically it's kind of like time machine. It's not as beautiful, but it works like a charm. It's really great. You can go back in time, you can get files, you changed over a year ago sometimes. The second thing is it is transparent and what I mean by that and what they mean by that is you can choose your own cloud storage and I will show you which cloud storage solutions I use and which I recommend because they basically don't care which one you use. They just provide the tool to back up your stuff to that solution. And then there is the other features that they list here. For one, true privacy control and transparency you choose where you want to store your files, if you want to go to Google, if you want to go to Amazon or Dropbox. And then the encryption actually takes place on the computer you're using and not online. There are backup solutions that offer encrypted backups, but the files get uploaded to the storage solution first and then on the server it gets encrypted. In this case, you have a master password input into the application and if you lose that, your data is gone, absolutely gone, because the data is encrypted on your computer, your computer knows the password, they don't know your password, and that I think is great. Also, the two programs for Windows and Mac, they are actually coded for each specific platform and not some cross-platform stuff. But what about storage? For one, I use Google Drive. And I talked to you about Google Drive before, and I think it's a great storage solution. Their pricing is in terms of terabytes, gigabytes, and whatever and that can be pretty expensive. If you are using Google Apps for work and you have unlimited storage, this might be the perfect place to store your files because then you can just upload everything there and you don't have to bother fiddling with two different storage solutions and you can and you can just use one storage. But I actually prefer to use two to not have all my eggs in one basket. The second cloud storage I use is called Amazon Cloud Drive. And this is absolutely insane. If you are a prime user, you get five gigabytes for free anyways, and you can store unlimited amounts of photos. But if you want to have unlimited storage, you can just buy it for 60 bucks a year, $60. And I think in Europe, it works the same way with euros and it's just 60 euros a year. And that is absolutely insane for unlimited amounts of storage. I actually have uploaded over four terabytes of archive data to this cloud drive. So it seems unlimited actually means unlimited, or at least I haven't hit the limit yet. And cloud drive by Amazon is actually the cloud storage solution Arc also advertises. They have a cloud storage solution comparison on their site here. And it's by far the cheapest option if you want to store a lot of data, just 60 euros a year or 60 US dollars, no initial upload, speed is good, and the restore delay is none. It really works out. However, if you are concerned about speed, 
That is basically the only reason I would go for other storage solutions. Then you have Google Nearline, Amazon Glacier and Amazon S3, where Amazon Glacier is the one solution that is actually made for backups and it is a ridiculously low price and I think probably the best solution if you want to work with something else besides Cloud Drive. Again, every day I would go with Cloud Drive because $60 a year is just nothing in terms of what you can get for it. Now let's look into my Arc backup setup. And as you can see right here, I actually have a lot of folders backed up to Arc and I use a lot of storage facilities. I use Google Drive, I use Cloud Drive and I also use Dropbox. And the one reason why I use three different storage solutions is that I have some things that are backed up to multiple destinations. For me, Cloud Drive is my main storage solution. It is where my archive stuff goes, it's where my pictures get backed up, it's where my virtual boxes and stuff like that get backed up. All the things that have a lot of storage needs. Then I have Google Drive. Google Drive for me is basically all my working stuff in terms of projects I have in coding. I have a couple of pictures there, I have my internal mini drive backed up to Google Drive and I have a couple of SSH keys and stuff like that backed up there as well. Again, I think the storage solution is also pretty safe because the stuff gets encrypted on your computer and not on the server. So I feel comfortable storing my SSH keys there as well. The same thing goes for Dropbox. I only use Dropbox for a couple of key stuff because that's the things, if I lose them, I will be devastated. I will lose access to a couple of things and that's why I back them up to three different locations to actually be able to recover it definitely. In terms of Cloud Drive, as you can see, there are actually two different kinds. There's the blue folders and then there's this yellow box. The yellow boxes essentially mean those are archived. That means that I detached the folder from the actual location this helps speed up the backup process because these folders that are archived or detached they are actually almost never attached to the computer so every time the backup runs it would search for these folders and i don't want that because the folders are on archive drives which are stored away and i almost never attach them again also the upload is just an archive and i really don't want to change it anymore and it might be a topic by itself how i store my photos but as you can see here i essentially have a lightroom library each year, which also helps organize the files because in general I can store one year of Lightroom data on one external hard drive or even two or three years on one external hard drive. That way I can divide those between years and not have to have half of 2013 on one drive and the second half of 2013 on another drive. In terms of how to set this up, basically you connect your drive with the preferences. There you have the destinations and with the destinations you set up your accounts and then you can just set up when to schedule the backup as well. I personally have the backups run once per day, always at zero zero. The main reason why I have it set up to be backed up at zero zero is that I don't really have the guarantee that I have internet all day long and I don't want it to try to make backups every hour. I also think that backups every hour are not necessary and with the setting of backup daily at zero zero, it will do that whenever the computer gets turned on after that. So it basically means do the backup at night if possible, if not possible, and the computer gets turned on at nine in the morning, then it will start doing the backup at that moment. And I personally like that because then I have a guarantee. Because I have the guarantee, if I have internet and the computer got turned on, there will be a backup. After you have set up the destinations, you have your destination right here. And there you can click on the destination name and then you can say add a folder to backup. And that will give you something like this, for example, where you have the folder set up and you can then change the backup selection, which essentially means that you can exclude certain files you can remove it from the backup destination. This will actually delete everything you have uploaded to that point. Here you can detach the folder and you can relocate it. For example, if you rename an external hard drive and you still want to backup certain folders that are already uploaded, you can relocate the folders with this button and that way Arc will know again where to find those files. When you click the button right here, it will actually give you a history when the last time was that this folder was backed up and when it was backed up in, in between. And going into those history items, you will see the differences and you will see where changes were made. 
So that's Arc Backup. It's a great tool to back up all your things to various online storage solutions. I really like that it's encrypted on the computer and not online. And it's a background task, so you don't really notice it. And actually, that's a good thing. You don't really want to notice your background tasks, right? But it is sometimes annoying. You pay money for a service or a tool that you don't really see that often, but hopefully you will never need it. But of course, that would mean that something got lost and you don't really want that either. So better safe than sorry. I definitely prefer to pay for a service like this instead of losing files, and that would be devastating. Overall, if you need any help or have questions about Arc Backup or my backup solution please feel free to leave a comment down below like this video and tell your friends if it was helpful for you and subscribe to this channel for more videos also connect with me on instagram facebook twitter i do a lot there and as you have seen i do photos so instagram is a great place to check out my work i will see you in the next video and have a nice day till then bye